Welcome back to Sabercraft. Uh, I'm here today with Wauke, uh, one of our lead instructors. Uh, and today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cover CMH. Remember that with the focus of Sabercraft, we're making sure that we're not hitting each other. Everything is done choreographed and we are ensuring that we are uh, striking blade to blade or dodging completely out of the way. CMH is a fun one. It's a very, very short choreographed movement sequence uh, composing of just a small amount of, of hits uh, so much so that you can go ahead and you can do it repeatedly over and over, which introduces flow into your work. So uh, let's go ahead and let's give it a shot. CMH is composed of six strikes. The first strike coming from the primary lumen, they're going to come in with a two. So you will recall that a two is going after the shoulder of your partner. From the two, you go into the ten. So you're going from one side to the other. From the ten, you come to the three, midline. From the three, you go to eight which is the hip. From the eight, you go to five, which is the knee. And from the five, you go to 11, which is the head. So it's kind of like a zigzag motion. Starting with one shoulder, you go to the other shoulder, cross the body to the bicep, cross the body to the hip, cross the body to the knee, cross the body to the head. And it's a zigzag motion. It's all done in one sequence. Two, ten, three, eight, five, eleven. You could then work on this and do it sequentially over and over. Now stop. From here, you can introduce movement as well. We talked a bit about flow, and flow pretty much means that we're just going to go back and forth doing CMH over and over and over. While we're doing CMH, the attacker will be moving forward while the defender will be moving back. You could work on that flow by also standing in one place. The telegraph for CMH, you pretty much take both hands you put both palms towards the body of the, of the hilt and you pretty much aim it at your opponent. So in essence, I would look at Wauke, present both hands, get back into position, and engage him. You could also apply this in a power play if you're doing it in Lumina. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and give a signal for an A, which is pretty much a fist aimed at my partner. 
and then I can just take the blade and bring it in together to complete it with an H. So it would be an A, H. Both together, each one is worth one point in aluminum. One point for A, one point for H. And done as a power play, that's a plus one giving you a total of three points. Let's watch it dynamically. So CMH is a great one to follow up with new students who are still picking this up uh, and try combining it with A to build these power plays. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Learn saber choreography at home simply by just subscribing to sabercraft.org for free or subscribing to our channel here. Thank you.